Hello and welcome to Quadology. This is a short video on how to set up your VTX on Betaflight 4.1. Um, if you've watched my kind of complete guide on Betaflight 4.1, um, there's a slight error in how you work out which version of Smart Audio you've got. Um, also, some of the videos that you may have seen on YouTube have got sort of the outdated information as it's the information on GitHub has been updated. So I thought I'd make a separate video on setting up the VTX or Smart Audio so everybody got the correct method um, so let me move myself down to the corner so first of all you need to hit your cut up make sure you've got uh, smart audio set up um, so we put it on UR1 on this quad the next thing to do is you're going to want to go to the black box setting and select smart audio as the sensed as the debug type Hit save and reboot. It may be that you can look at the <coughs> VTX manufacturer's product page or manual and see what version of Smart Audio you're running. Uh, but if you need to find out for sure, select back, uh, black box to Smart Audio. Uh, then select the sensors tab. You can untick all the other sensors. You just need the debug mode. Debug zero will tell you which version of Smart Audio you've got. Uh, if you power it on your VTX, so I'm going to plug my quad in, you'll see I've got a reading of 216. If it's 100, uh, you, it's going to be Smart Audio 1.0, which won't be many VTXs these days. If it's 200 or 216, both of those numbers, both of those readings mean you're on Smart Audio 2.0. And then if it's 300 or 316, that will mean you're on Smart Audio 2.1. So in my previous video, I did say if you're on 216, that would mean Smart Audio 2.1. That's incorrect. 216 is also Smart Audio 2.0. Um, so now we know which version of Smart Audio we're running. I can disconnect the battery, stop my VTX from overheating. We can go to the Video Transmitter tab. So, obviously, this tab is new in um, with Betaflight 4.1 and the latest 10.6 configurator. So, the first thing we need to do here is set up our VTX table. So, if you go to the top of this page, you'll see it says go to this page. Click on that, and that will open the VTX table page in GitHub. For reference, it tells you here the Smart Audio debug key. So, you can see 200 and 216, both Smart Audio 2.0. You then need to find the VTX table for your Smart Audio version. So there's a USA and an EU version. The difference between them is which frequencies are populated in the table. So for example, in the EU, um, it will only have race band, I think, 3 to 6, whereas in the USA version, it will have race band with channels 1 to 8 because the frequencies are allowed in all countries in that well, the USA is one country, but in the EU, it's allowed in all countries. Um, so we can save that. Uh, you can see I've already downloaded these tables. So I don't need to do that myself. So you'll download the table you need. And then simply here, select load from file. We are going to Smart Audio 2.0. Open that. Now, you can see here I've got my band names, band letters, and then the channels. Anywhere that's got a zero means that channel is inactive, so nothing will happen. You basically can't select that channel. If the factory box is ticked, that means there's information stored in your VTX. So Smart Audio, if I select uh, band A channel 1, it will tell the VTX to transmit on whatever frequency that's programmed in. If this is unticked, it will transmit the frequency in the box, if that makes sense. So, for instance, IMD6, which has been set up here, is a mix of channels that are less likely to interfere with each other, I believe. The um, From this point of view, because that's not ticked, the VTX would trans uh, change to those frequencies rather than just look at a certain band and channel so you can create your own band that is uh the frequencies that you like to use most frequent frequently if needed once you've got that set up uh you need to select the number of power levels so i'm running a rush tank ultimate uh, it has four power levels not including pit mode 
and if you've got Smart Audio 2.0, the value will start at naught and then just go up. Say I've got naught one two, and that should be three. And then the label, uh, mine is eight hundred. The label is just what you will see in the OSD when you change the power setting. It can be any three characters. They can be numbers or letters. Obviously, it makes sense to to me to have the the power level in milliwatts, but you could put anything in there that you like. Once that's set up, hit save. Now, because I've got a few VTXs, a few quads with the same VTX, I can press save to file and actually save that file. I've already saved that. Um, so next time I'm setting one up, I can just load the exact file that I want for that VTX. It may be that some of the manufacturers make those files available. Now that's set up, I can select from here um, anything in the VTX table that I've just set up. So I'm normally on race band 8 and I'm going to select the power uh, and hit save. So when I power my quad on, that is the channel that it's going to come onto. Obviously, I can change that in Smart Audio and it will stay on whatever it was last selected when it was powered off. Um, so. Uh, it's as simple as that. So hopefully that helps. Apologies if anybody set up their Smart Audio incorrectly. Um, the one thing that I should say actually is if you do have Smart Audio 2.1, the value here should be uh, the DBM equivalent of the milliwatts, not just 0123. So if you go to, um, if you Google, I'll put a link down below, milliwatt to DBM converter, you can see if you put in 25 milliwatts and hit convert, that's 14D. DBM, so you would put 14 in here, and then you would have to work out each one and save it. That only applies to Smart Audio 2.1. So if you've had on the debug sense tab a uh, reading of 300 or 316, then you would have to do that. If it's Smart Audio 2.0, you can just put in 0, 1, 2, 3. Um, fabulous. Well, thank you very much for watching. I hope this was helpful. Please subscribe and like, really appreciate it. And um, please check back for new videos in the future. Thanks.